Hi, my name is Lee Hanush. I'm the former head loss mitigator for IndyMac Bank's HELOC division. I started in real estate and banking in 1988. I have been in this industry for over 30 years. For the past decade, I have been helping real estate agents, investors, and people in the real estate community understand and know how to work with people who've missed payments. The market is changing. If you want to find out whether or not we're in a bubble, if you want to find out whether or not the market's going to crash, if you want to find out what's going to happen next and how you can actually get listings, give me a couple of minutes to tell you 10 truths about the market. And what I would ask beyond that is that if you want to find out a little bit more on how we actually meet those clients, continue to watch after that. Take this opportunity right now to find out how you can help people and get many, many listings that will ultimately help you and your family. So if you'll give me the next few minutes, I will show you my solution. The first thing that we're gonna cover is the market and I'm gonna tell you the truth of the market. I'm gonna give you 10 truths about the market. You can make your decision about what you believe about the market, whether or not the market's turning, whether the market's crashing. I can tell you my personal beliefs. The market is turning, the market is crashing, prices will come down and there will be a lot of things the change dramatically about the real estate market and how you get listings and how people operate. And I'm going to show you how to turn that into listings. So let's cover the market and whether or not you're on the fence or what you want to believe about the market. Uh, I want to share with you 10 truths about the market that you need to be aware of. These are 10 facts. You can verify them with multiple newspapers and multiple sources or just Google them. Okay. Number 10, the eviction moratorium is over. This isn't something I think about. Individually, in certain states, there are certain states that are not physically evicting people, but the paperwork and the processing is picking up. Month over, so far in the first few weeks, it's about a 15% pickup. Overall for the country, it's about a 25% pickup, but the moratorium's over. Paperwork's being filed. People are starting to get reported. As of last report from Black Knight, uh, which is the most trusted source that everybody uses for foreclosures and delinquencies. They reported that 1.6 million people are severely delinquent, which quote unquote from the start of the pandemic is the lowest number. 1.6 is about 1.3 million higher than before the pandemic went into effect. I'm just saying that. Uh, number eight, Wells Chase and B of A did a joint press release just before the previous moratorium eviction passed. They stated that 90%, approximately 90% of their portfolios was performing. If you don't know what that means, at 31 days at 5 p.m., you're 30 days late. At 61 days at 5 p.m., you're 60 days late. As a former banker, as former head loss mitigator for IndyMac Bank's HELOC division, I can safely tell you that... Uh, the reality is that they told you the truth. 90% of their portfolio is performing. That means that 10% of their portfolio in some way, shape, or form is at least 31 days at 5 p.m. delinquent all the way up to actively in pre-foreclosure. Understand this. Write it down, all of you, uh, for those that are watching this. At 31 days at 5 p.m., you are actively in foreclosure. Got it? I don't know why people get this confused. 31 days at 5 p.m., you are actively in foreclosure until you pay that payment off, pay the fees, and bring it current. And there are nine alternatives to foreclosure, but we'll cover those shortly. Number seven, the interest rates are way too low. Uh, they were currently, we've got this zero thing going on at the Fed. We've got interest rates that are at rock bottom prices. That's a problem. That's a real problem because now people are getting comfortable with what's going on in the current marketplace and the interest rates inevitably have to go up. There is no way for the interest rates to go lower. There have been talks of making the interest rate negative, but they're not going to do it. As we all know, the values are way too high. So now we have an inequity, right? We've got interest rates that are too low to get people to buy. Uh, and now our values are too high. That's a really big problem. Uh, over the last year, because of the lack of inventory and a bunch of other factors that I can neither confirm nor deny or state as an actual fact. The value for state to state, pocket to pocket are way too high right now. The, the prices are higher than what people earn to pay for those values. In fact, both of those things run concurrently, right? Generally speaking, prices are right 
in each market are right around what people make and can pay on a monthly basis. Right now, they are out of whack in almost every single market. We also know that rents are too high, right? We're causing rentals to be priced out of the market as well. So how do people afford to rent or buy when the values are too high, when their jobs don't generate enough money? Again, these are all verifiable facts. The biggest fact that happened in the last 30 to 60 days is that 60% of the buyers out there, millennials, were interviewed. Uh, they don't believe right now is the right time to buy. And this is becoming the buyer sentiment and actually seller sentiment throughout the United States, right? 60% of the real estate based buyer seller community is now the, not the right time. They're unsure of what the market's going to do. It should worry you. Number three. All right. This, as of the end of the month, this is the last month for the no reporting, right? Forbearances, loan mods, mispayments, any of that. For those of you that don't know, they haven't been reporting anything to the FICO system. There were agreements in place not to report anything. So that all ends at the end of September. So they are slowly bringing people back into the FICO system. They're slowly reporting the, the mispayments. Uh, people are now due on their forbearance agreements. If people aren't paying back their forbearance agreement, it's going to go on their credit. There are going to be some very big dramatic changes before the end of the month. And as I said before, credit uh, reports and filings have increased. It's about 20% right now. By the end of September, it should be around 30 or 40%. Before the end of the year, hopefully they get somewhere between 75 and 100% of all the reporting back. Banks will not forget how much money is owed to them out of those 1.6 million people. And the number one thing that I get out of homeowners and real estate agents and mortgage brokers and any of you watching this right now, even as a replay, the government's going to fix it. Well, I'm going to squash that shit right here. They had $45 billion to hand out to renters and homeowners and everybody that as a household made less than $99,999 so that they could pay their mortgages or they could pay their rent. And for those of you who don't know, they only managed to get $2 billion of those dollars out. That means that over 80 to 90% of that money never saw it in its way into landlords, tenants, homeowners' pockets. That's the government. They're trying to pass $3.6 trillion to make more changes and add more money and stimulate more of the economy. All that does is cause inflation and devaluation of the dollar. So when the government gets involved, Republican or Democrat, it gets screwed up. They generally don't fix anything. They make things work. They don't make things work better. They make things work worse. They have toyed with the idea of taking over the FICO system. They have worked on a 40-year loan mod agreement for Jenny May, who's buying up all the bad paper on the planet, including FHAVA and everybody else. This is... You can believe what you want. What you're looking at on the screen are 10 hard, hard, hard facts about the current market. These aren't, I went to some sketchy website and pulled this data. These are absolute facts about the market. Any one of these would generate more people who've missed payments. That's the niche we're working on. As a person who has worked in the distress field since 1988. I've worked for three different banks as an asset manager and as a bank executive. I was the head loss mitigator for IndyMac Bank's HELOC division. I am telling you definitively, any one of these will create more defaults. All of these things combined means that over the next few months, because now we're in the winter season nationally, perceptions change. People are going to start being evicted. People being evicted as renters are going to have an impact on the market, right? But I don't quote that as a fact. I know that there are 7 million people who are on the verge of being evicted and the paperwork is being processed. But I don't know what that's going to do to the market. These 10 facts will have an impact on the market, okay? Do I think that 7 million people, 7 million renters are going to have an impact? I do. I think it's all going to have an impact. I think that if you want things that I think instead of things I know, what you're looking at on the screen right now are 10 things I know, okay? Here is what I think. I think uh, people who rent are gonna have an impact by 7 million people going into default. I think that commercial property 
is going to be put onto the market in large numbers and that will ultimately affect any properties coming on the market from commercial, multi-unit, uh, single family residents. More of that is going to create a problem when people don't have any consumer confidence. And if prices start to slide backwards, which they will inevitably, prices cannot continue at this rate. Prices will come back down. God forbid we get into a thing of strategic defaults. Okay. That's where we are. That's reality. And that's happening right now in real time in front of all of this. And I want to give all of you the opportunity, if you believe any of this, if not some of it, if not all of it, to get involved. Everyone. Cool. Uh, there, all of you can go there. There will be marketing pieces you can download. You can um, a copy of this PowerPoint and some downloads for marketing pieces. But more importantly, when you go on that link, you can find a discount and you can sign up. And I'll, I'll punch line for anybody who's on the call. If you're signing up at 997, which is an upgrade, if you're an AMS or Monster user, there's a link. Or if you're purchasing for the first, investing for the first time, I will throw in a squeeze page. Uh, I usually talk about it at the end of the call, but it's uh, a wild Tuesday and I will give you guys all that upgrade. So let me talk about the three modules and show you exactly how my marketing works and how I got three appointments this week. First thing we have is our home advocates marketing system, right? Uh, that is the very first one. That uh, by the end of the week will be a video on each and every funnel that we have and how to operate it. It is our general education to the entire process. The second is our home advocates community. You get three coaching calls with us. And uh, today is Tuesday. So we had a marketing call on Wednesday. We do general Q&A. And then on Thursday, we do conversion and script. You get all three of those coaching calls. They're group coaching calls every single week. And you get those for life. As you notice, when you go and check out the price, we do not do a monthly fee. We are not looking for a monthly fee. Got it? Uh, we want to be your coaches for life. The third is our hub. This is our main system. On the hub, we have multiple different platforms that will help you get listings. The first is our step-by-step. -step. We call it the 12-step program for getting uh, marketing through our system. The second is our face-to-face -face method, what, how you can meet people on the street. We were actually talking about it on today's marketing call. Uh, the third is our coaching call archive for current coaching calls and links to all of the coaching calls. On Thursday, it's more of a meeting so that you can all interact. On Tuesday and Wednesday, they are webinars with me. Uh, next, we have an express buyer program. We have our own. We want you guys to take the listing. We, guys, we want you to take that listing for 6%, and we want to give you the bulk of that commission. Uh, we're able to do it because we have investors who want to purchase properties that you get your hands on. And because of that, it's just a simple referral fee for setting it up through us at Home Advocates. And we will give you access to cash buyers who will pay fair market value, right? Uh, we also work with investors. So the next funnel that we have set up, that little thing with the umbrella, we have an investor platform. So if you're an investor or you're thinking of flipping or getting involved, Submit your deal and I will help structure your deal. If we are involved in that deal, there will be a little bit of a fee to us to help you out. We do not take a monthly fee. We partner with you on deals. So if you use this for getting a buyer and saving yourself marketing time and getting it all taken care of, cool, right? Home Advocates makes a little bit of money so and you make a lot of money, which is the goal. You'll be fired up to go help more people. If you're an investor, I'll help you structure your deal. I'll help you find money. I'll help you do whatever you need to do. We have access to all of it. And uh, there will be a small fee for home advocates for that assistance, but you make the bulk of the money. No more chopping it up into a hundred different pieces like investors normally do. Next uh, is the Think Like Me books, audio, video. One of our students uh, recently had surgery and asked me to put books and movies and things that I watch that stimulate me and help me keep an eye on the economy. I am now curating sort of that museum. In fact, I'm getting ready to add my next two books that I've recently read, which is Talk Like Ted and Red Marketing, both great books. Then we have an archive. Uh, I have been doing marketing for 10 years. As I said before, I got named one of the top marketers in America. And in those, I, I give you all of my marketing, all of it, 
everything I've ever created and hopefully it's beneficial. I have been documenting myself since I first started speaking in 2006 and when I was still working at a bank. So we have all of those trainings, all of those videos, everybody I've ever shot a video with. It's thousands of hours of documents and thousands and thousands of hours uh, of videos. We are the deepest distressed property system online. And last, I even threw in some white label books. All of these are bestsellers, so you can put your name on them and you can name yourself a bestseller. Congratulations. That's a bonus when you sign up. We have books on real estate, short sales, distressed properties, and you can become the author of those books to help with your credibility and your positioning with your clients. So let's talk about uh, each of these methods. The first is what we call the face to face method. And uh, this is the system that we have in place. We just ask you to go out on the street, meet five people every day. You can package yourself as a business person or you can be out with your family. Either one will work. Number two, we arm you with a marketing piece that is a testimonial and then on the back is your information as a business card. You are an advocate for home advocates. Got it? If you need to put your license on the back, I understand that completely, right? But we also teach you how to script it and get your cell phone to them. Every month we give you a brand new branding message and an icebreaker so that when you meet people on the street, you can persuade them. We want them to Google home advocates. We are line one, page one above. Go ahead and feel free to do it right now. Go to Google and type in home advocates. We are above county, government, city, states, dot orgs, you name it. We are line one for homeowner advocates. We are the home advocates. Those are the key words I went after. Home advocates. We have line one, page one, and all of our agents are listed on the front page of our website. The second item on the hub is our 12 step program. This is our guaranteed face to face method. When you sign up with us, I guarantee that I will get you face to face or we will refund 100% of your investment. It's just that simple. This is our 12 step program and I'm going to go through it. Number one, you're going to click and you're going to uh, download, you're going to email us that you're going to start marketing. You're also going to notify us that you need your leads. You're going to order basically our pre-cut sheets, which are Avery 64, 64s. And then you're going to download our call center labels. That's what they look like. They look like FedEx delivery labels. I've created a marketing system where I am the Amazon of advocates. I deliver help to homeowners. This is the method I did on Friday. I went and put those up on a home on homeowners houses that were behind on payments. I picked out 12 properties. I managed to get nine of them up. I used root Excel. I plugged all of them into the system and then I filled out my marketing pieces in order of what I would do. And I filled them out by hand with a Sharpie. Just that simple. You put your initials for the tracking number and that's how we track them. And then you just go to the first house. You go right to the front of their house. Don't knock on the door. Don't meet them in the garage. You're not interacting with the homeowner, right? You're just going to put this on either the outside of the mailbox, the garage door, or the front door. I put everything on the outside of the mailbox, which is legal. Uh, we use repealable labels so they don't permanently stick. And I got two appointments for this week. Three calls, two appointments, right? I'm not asking you to do 100 ounces. I did one hour's worth of work for two appointments this week. And you tell me if there is a more effective version of doing that, right? And you go home and you wait. We have a call center in place. All they do is call the 800 number. It discloses why you're coming over. It's just that simple. Make sure that you've had your one-on-one. -on -one. You get a free one-on-one -on -one startup when you join us. We will go through what's going to happen on your first appointment. Then you download your first meeting appointment. As a home advocate with us, the only thing that we ask for our system is that you educate them on the first appointment. It's the second appointment when you're going to ask them for the listing. What you're looking at on the screen right now our appointments all over the country in different markets that have been forwarded on to other agents who have just gone out and put up that little tag you see in the right hand corner and we call it tagging all of them worked they all got appointments look carefully they want to meet yes yeah, same as the label right simple as that and they give the tag just simple as that some even get email addresses 
That's our marketing method. We guarantee face to face. But what you really want to know about is coaching, right? So we do three coaching calls, one marketing, uh, one Q and A, and then one conversion. So we're going to talk about that as a bonus here on today's call. And I'm going to actually show you how we coach it and how we do it. Our first appointment is literally from first contact until they list, right? That is the timeline of monetization. The reason you're on this call is to provide for your family, much like I am for my own family, which is why I teach so passionately. I would believe you will be that passionate as well when you meet with a homeowner. So we give you the exact script. We coach it, we preach it, we know it, we love it. Encounter number one is about connecting and educating your client, right? Hello, my name is Lee. Are you aware you are actively in foreclosure? I hand him a copy of their NOD. I'm going to be doing it twice this week. I'm a homeowner advocate, and I'm here to present to you your alternatives to foreclosure. I give them a copy, and I have a copy. And these are all you have to do. Number one, homeowner, you can do nothing. Two, you can pay off a refinance. Three, reinstatement. Four, partial claim. Five, deed in lieu of foreclosure. Six, bankruptcy. Seven, loan modification. Eight, forbearance. Nine, sell the house. That's it. Those are their options. That's my job. That's what I agreed to as being a part of home. That's what you agreed to as part of home advocates. That's all I want you to do. They're going to tell you what they're going to do or what they're not going to do. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to give you the million dollar closer that we've been teaching for the last 10 years. Thanks to Nina Sobroso. I just have one question before I leave. What did the bank do to you? Psychological fact, they will not take responsibility for not making payments. So getting them to open up and to tell you about everything that the bank is doing to them, which is what they think and say and do and behave. And I can tell you this historically for over 30 years, that's how people who don't pay behave. People who don't pay, don't pay. Okay. And they blame other people for their problems. Again, I don't blame. I don't make assumptions. So this is all on the way that I keep myself centered and squared on a daily basis. They're afraid and they're fearful because they can't provide. I'm sure all of you can relate to not being able to get listings and not being able to provide for your families. These people are losing their house. So they're scared and they say things that don't make sense. So connect with them. Become their trusted advisor. Stay top of mind. Got it? Then you're going to schedule a next appointment and you're going to follow up. Uh, our turnover time, plus or minus, from first appointment to actual listing, you're going to meet with them once. You're going to follow up with them probably anywhere from three to 15 times. God knows how many times. But generally three to five times, somewhere in that range, about 30 days, and you should have a listing. We have that in real time happening right now with our clients. So we just talked about this on the previous uh, coaching call. Three follow-ups less than 30 days they were signing an appointment they're actually doing a sign up one hour from right now in real time and uh, that's just one of our clients I've been doing this for 11 years I have never not gotten somebody face to face with homeowners I have never had to provide a refund because the system does not work and that's for 11 years you can find no negative activity about this particular marketing method the marketing methods are disclosed to all the states. This is not first point of contact. Home advocates is the first point of contact. Our call centers are the first point of contact. Okay. We are here to get you a finished face-to-face -face referral with this system. You are just helping out by putting up those tags. It's the second appointment when you're going to ask them for the listing and start asking them. We've been pushing our clients. Anytime from appointment number two or follow-up number two until they're ready to go. You're going to engage and deliver whatever information you set up with them at the last meeting. And then you're going to ask them the big question. It's as simple as that. What are your plans? What do you want to do? That's it. Eventually, understand this. In 30 plus years, this is one of the few facts that my dad taught me when I started in foreclosure work in 1988. People who don't pay, don't pay. No matter what they tell you, no matter what money they think they have, no matter what they think the outcome is, people who don't pay, don't pay. Got it? And then you follow it up. No matter what they say other than sell the house, I understand and I hope that works out for you. I have one question before I leave. What's your plan B? You are their plan B. It is our job at Home Advocates as 
uh, an advocacy program and your coaches, your mentors, the marketing system to make sure that you stay top of mind. That's why we're page one on Google. That's why we do the coaching calls. That's why they can call the 800 number. That's why you're on the front page of our website. We believe in you. We back you. And of course, you have my experience and knowledge to talk to them if you need that. And you just follow up. There is no difference between this or any other type of listing. It's about follow up and staying top of mind. Also within the hub, as I said, with the 12 step program, with that marketing method, uh, I said before you are on the front page listed as one of our advocates, literally on the front page. You are Google line one when somebody types in the word home advocates. We do coaching calls every Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, as I said before, we have a buyer's program so that you can get max commission. Uh, we also have an investor program because we work with investors. I'll help you structure the deals. We have archives for everything that we've worked on over the last 11 years with distressed marketing, uh, as well as all of our webinars and trainings are archived as well. We also throw in white label books. So how do you join home advocates? Uh, as I said before, I sent a link out to everybody. You should see it on the screen. It's probably below. If you're rewatching the video, you invest a one-time fee and there's no monthly payments. If you are an existing uh, advocate mark AMS with my previous business partner or monster marketing, and I'll even say this, if you're short sale genius from back in 2007 to 10, when I was just a banker teaching people about short sales, you can uh, upgrade. I will consider that an upgrade. And it's a one-time fee as well. Just go to homeadvocates.io forward slash events. All of our stuff, all of our marketing systems, everything I've been doing for 11 years has been the same. And there is no other marketer who makes this promise. I promise you personally, the system is 100% guaranteed, no matter when you start, no matter when you finish, to get you face-to-face -face, or because of COVID, Zoom to Zoom, depending on COVID restrictions, or we will refund 100% of your investment. There is nobody who guarantees a face-to-face -face appointment. Nobody guarantees a face-to-face -face appointment except me. And I do. If you don't get face-to-face -face and have these conversations, I'll refund your money. I have no question in my mind that that will happen for you because I do it myself.